Well, it is now day five of spring break 2016 with the family and a couple friends. It's Wednesday, so there's still another half of the week to the kids' spring break, but we're wrapping things up here in the Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. Today is the day we drive back home to Northern Kentucky, and of course I got to play Tetris with everybody's luggage in the back of the pilot. So excited that Pigeon Forge now has its very own Chipotle. It is several hours later. We are in northern Kentucky and the girls have decided that they wanted to stop at Chipotle and say hi to their friend. Their friend Tori was supposed to go on this trip with us, but she wasn't able to, so they wanted to stop in and say hi. We are back home, I am unpacked, and now I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna take a little break and rest, or if I wanna go straight down and do cardio. Well, it's eight o'clock in the evening now. I ended up doing my email inbox first, and I'm happy to announce that I am back at email inbox zero. And now, I'm gonna spend 45 minutes on that elliptical machine behind me. Well, there we go, my friends. That is 45 minutes of cardio in the log books after about five to six hours of driving home from the Smoky Mountains today. My vlogs have been kind of short these past few days, and it's because mostly I've been unplugged and spending lots of time with the family. And of course, that was an intentional decision that I made given that this is spring break week. Now that I'm back home, technically it's still spring break for the kids, but tomorrow I'm going to be back at work. On Sunday, I'll be heading out to San Diego to speak at Social Media Marketing World 2016. And of course, the thing that I'm looking forward to the most is hanging out with some of my best friends in the world. I know that my vlog tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday will share with you all the things that I'll be doing to get prepared to leave for San Diego. But before I wrap things up here tonight, I wanna let you know a couple of the things that I did that didn't make it into the vlog these past few days. On the drive down to the Smoky Mountains, I did have a period of time where I had my earbuds in and I listened to a few various podcast episodes about the musical Hamilton. And while I was in Tennessee, I continued my reading of the biography of Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. Though on April 12th, which I think was yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I had stopped reading the biography because I received my pre-order of the audiobook about the making of this musical. I listened to the first three hours of the audiobook last night and I finished the remaining three and a half hours of the audiobook on the way home today. And then after I finished that, I picked up where I left off with the audiobook version of the biography because yes, I own both the audiobook version and the Kindle version. Those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I have recently just become super obsessed with Hamilton and it hasn't gone away yet. And it is not just about the music, it's not just about the musical, although those things were the catalyst to what's really inspired me the most. And that is the story of Alexander Hamilton's life. And there are so many things that I'm reading that are just speaking directly to me. There's a whole lot more that I could say. It, there's a whole lot more reason why I love Hamilton and I'm obsessed with it as much as I am. But I'll just go ahead and wrap things up by saying that I have had an incredibly blessed past several days of spring break with my family and I've had a lot of downtime to take in some things that have just been downright inspiring. And I'll just wrap it up with that and say thank you guys for tuning in and until next time, I encourage you to take everything you do to the next level.